Welcome to Fast Fair! <laughs> Fast Fair! <laughs> Hi everyone. Uh, yeah, welcome to Fast Fair 2016. This is actually the first Fast Fair. It was historically known as AGDE, a little, um, I don't know, Lobos Marathon history. But in any case, uh, we're here, we're happy, and we are... We should be set up, hopefully. If things explode, I'm sorry. Uh, we're about to do a Salt and Sanctuary race here. Myself, uh, Lobos Jr., and Alec has a roar. And uh, I'm running my PS3 so, through an Elgato, so I have like a one and a half second visual delay. So if it looks like he's winning, it's not true. So that's if it I'm looks like he's, <clears throat> if it looks like I'm winning by more than half a second, then I'm winning. If it looks like I'm winning by less than half a second, then Lobos is winning. <laughs> Um, so, we don't really have anything else to say, I think. So, whenever you are ready. Okay, uh, Frank or Z? Frank or Z. Frank or Z. I'm, I'm Fieldy Field. <laughs> <laughs> That's my Twitch.com name. Alrighty. <coughs> and I have to go with my demonic body here. Oh, man, I didn't even think about characterization. Demonic. <laughs> Hold on. Did you do, oh, you did white? I mean, red I did eyes. red eyes with black Where's the white eyes? Hair. Oh, there there they they are. Are. There oh that is so creepy. <laughs> wow. I think that's even creepier than mine. Yeah. Excellent. There we go. Perfect. Oh. Clown man. Um, okay. Are you ready on timer? Yeah. All righty. Uh, all right. Best of luck. Ready? I'm Three, ready. Three, two, one, go. Okay. Woo! Oh, that's the wrong word. Uh, oh. Unselect. Oh, yeah. Go. I forgot how to play this. Go game. fast. <laughs> that's not the menu. That's not the okay. menu buttons. See, I'm winning right now. Yeah. <laughs> it's the Elgato delay. It's it really. Is, it is. It is. What? Why did I show up to the <laughs> shivering shore? You loaded the wrong save. Did I? Oh, Here, I'll, I'll wait. oh I did. You're right. <laughs> it no, go. You, I okay. was quicker okay. on the on the starting menu. All right. Menu. So, um, uh, just heads up. Uh, nobody else knows about Salt and Sanctuary speedruns because nobody else. Nobody knows. else has done them. <laughs> but uh, Ala and I worked on this game quite a bit when it first came out. Uh, once we beat it, and um, there's a lot to it. It's very fast to beat now. It's under like 20 minutes. Um, Hopefully, anyways. Hopefully. Um, there's a lot of crazy glitches, so we'll do our best to explain them, but also requires a lot of focus because it's just stuff is constantly doing uh, happening. Uh, first thing you'll notice is like the character is like super jumping in some spots, and there's a frame accurate trip trick where if you press roll and jump at the same time, it just launches the character forward. And it, the you need to have like low equip load to see the effect the most. Um, so you'll see us doing that. That is horrendously broken for sequence breaks and all sorts of... And anytime you see us kind of jumping in place or <laughs> rolling on the ground, and it, if it ever looks really awkward of uh, what's happening, it's basically it's because we're trying to long jump and failing. <laughs> yeah. Hey, we've got our first donation of the day. Woohoo! $10 from Anonymous. Oh, no. <laughs> says have fun. <laughs> Thank you for the donation! <laughs> um, yeah, so what Ala just did and I just failed is a, a skip of the first boss area, or the first area in general. Um, whenever you fall, if you grab like a, a specific type of ledge on the way down, it like halves your fall damage for some reason, so you can just skip that whole section. <laughs> And yeah, and, and and by holding up while you're falling through the platform, you basically take half fall damage, and then instead of taking the rest of the fall damage when you hit the ground, because you're holding up, you just grab onto the ledge. <laughs> okay, there we go. <clears throat> so what we do basically is we immediately jump ahead to like a much later part of the game, and we unlock this uh, character ability to. Uh, do wall jumps, which we need to, to get through the final area, just in like one spot, but we need it. Um, and we, we also pick up uh, items for upgrading our, our weapons later. Um, basically it's just a mad rush to the farthest point in the game that we can get with glitches, and then we power level our character and... Using another glitch. <laughs> using another glitch, and uh, then just destroy all the bosses. Yes. <laughs> and, and by all the bosses, we mean about three bosses. <laughs> Out of, I, what is there, like 30 like in this game or something? This game, yeah. And if you're playing the game as intended, I think there's about like 14 necessary bosses. 
And if you do the any percent route with these glitches and skips, you have to kill three bosses. Which is quite nice. Especially when you're trying to go fast. This game is, if you don't know anything about the game, it's basically a 2D Dark Souls. Very brutal. Um, a lot of things later on can just one-shot you. And, uh, the first boss that we have to fight is like the worst one in the game, just because if you get bad luck, there's almost nothing you can do. We're both jumping. And we're both <laughs> neck and neck <laughs> right now. Uh, yeah. So Lobos missed one of the early jumps, and I missed one of the other early jumps. So we're basically oh, no. neck and neck right now with one death. <clears throat> There's a lot of uh, issues in this game where you hit jump and, or you hit two actions at the same time. Um, oh shit! Well, I didn't need to do it anyways. <laughs> so one thing that um, we do a lot is you can duplicate uh, like a warping item just by interrupting the cast animation. So if you just hit jump and use item at the at exact same, same time, time, yeah, it'll pop up and say, "Do you want to use the item?" And your character's jumping, and you're in the air, <laughs> and the game doesn't really know what to do when you use an item in the air, so you just get to use it for free. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I'll have found out this crazy glitch that involves, uh, basically, there's different, like, uh, creeds in this game, so, like, factions, if you will, and if you, you can, you know, like, you can desecrate one of their sanctuaries on purpose. Sanctuaries are basically just checkpoints. And basically you, the bonfires of this game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if you desecrate a checkpoint that you're currently locked to, the game gets into a weird state where it doesn't entirely know where to put you if you die. Um, <laughs> and I love the response that the game has because yeah. the game has no idea where to spawn you. You've betrayed your spawn point and so it has no idea where to put you when you die. And so instead of crashing or putting you at the last checkpoint or something like that, it just puts you where you're at. <laughs> Yeah, it just puts Which you is amazing in. because it this lets you wrong warp to wherever you want, basically. Yeah, and that might that might not sound like an amazing thing like immediately, but um, the, the fact is you can basically survive any sort of like fall damage. Uh, you can fall any distance, and when you fall and die, like you just respawn at the bottom wherever you landed. Yo, this so. has never happened. I betrayed and it didn't get betrayed. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh, you, did you move? I think I applied casting? it instead of. Uh... <laughs> uh, you can what, buy them for five hundred or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> we have a twenty-five dollar donation from anonymous that says you guys are awesome, and a ten dollar from anonymous as well that says good luck to all the runners. Keep the hype. Kill the runners. Pog champ. <laughs> <laughs> So we have to kill the early boss to get to like this skip point. Oops, don't do that. And we need gold from the boss for some stuff we're gonna buy later. Okay. <laughs> By the way, this run is super risky. It's there's a lot of things that'll make you like have to reset the run or, or uh, just want to reset oh! the run. <laughs> No. So where I'm going here, this is a this is above a super end game area that we can. This is the trick that I talked about. You use a bell on the way, like on the way down, and it just spawns you at the bottom. So now we take this boat to the basically last portion of the game, sort of. Yeah. Um, and <laughs> the, map, the map is basically two-dimensional, and the right side loops back around to the left side with a boat. And in order to get the... Are you kidding me? <laughs> Did I honestly miss the floor there? And yeah, so you basically show up on completely the right side of the map when you start on the very left side of the map. We have a six dollars and sixty nine cents donation from Anonymous. Yay. As Yay. well as a twenty five dollars. Says Lobos Love. <laughs> For the children. Yeah. For the kids. <clears throat> so 
this is like the worst part of the game ever because you have to get all these frame perfect inputs to get over these gaps. And if you don't, you just roll off and die. Um, and then we're gonna do the switch again here. Just take this to the bottom safely. Ten dollar donation says, "Come on and slam." And <laughs> welcome to the jam. Excellent. I had jam on my toast today, so I'm welcoming the jam. The jam has already been welcomed in your belly. <laughs> That's right. Oh no. All right. Queen of Smiles down. <clears throat> oh god. Oh god. Okay, so those are the most terrifying enemies in the game. They'll just one-shot you. Um, but basically, at this point, I've made it to the point where we're right before a boss. We have to fight. Oh, there's more I have to do. Uh, there's, there's a weird thing that happens if you run through a place where you can create a checkpoint and you have that like warping glitch active um, yeah. it just updates your respawn point to outside that that sanctuary um, and you don't even have to like do anything with it it's kind of weird but uh, what we're doing what I'm doing now is trying to get to this secret kind of uh, covenant creed that um, allows us to get stupid OP magic spells. Um, Stupidly I, OP. I went too far. <laughs> I went too far. And I have to go all so, the way back to get another another betrayal page. <laughs> so terrible. <laughs> Wait, I don't, where I don't can I even heal. get I another one? <laughs> I don't know if I can get another one. Uh, you can buy one from the merchant, no? Did he move? No, I'm not in the Covenant yet. The Covenant? The Betrayer's Covenant is the only one that lets you buy those pages. There's the regular merchant, um... Does the regular merchant sell them? Oh, you should. Can we... <laughs> <laughs> it applied the paper instead of, instead of betraying the, 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 <laughs> the uh, sanctuary, so I don't know what to do here. I'm not actually sure what... Is there any way out of this if I don't have any heals? Can I place the sanctuary? If you have... I might be... I, 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 I think we may locked. both be softlocked. Um, I don't think there's any way for you to continue without any heals, and I don't think there's any way for me to continue without a page. Well, and this is the brutality of Salt and Sanctuary. Like We can do one reset, and then that's it. All right, all right. <laughs> the We're both warmed up. To be fair, the original... Um, Estimate for this was one hour, and then we brought it down to <laughs> 20 <laughs> minutes. <laughs> so, this is part of it. <laughs> also, this is breaking the ice for all the rest of the speedruns, so <laughs> consider it <laughs> crushed. <laughs> um, I'm going to use an actual name now. <laughs> uh, there we go. There Welcome, we go. everybody, to Fast Fair. Welcome <laughs> to Fast Fair, where we go fast. <laughs> Fights friends attempting speedruns together. Yeah. Attempting is a keyword. We'll be here all, all weekend. Um, oh, yo, oh, yo, you already reset. Okay. I already went. <laughs> all right. That's true. That's true. We gotta go. All right. There's a $6 donation from Pixel K. Says, Last weekend, I promised that any donations that came in during my practice marathon would go towards fast, so here they are. Put those donations toward killing the animals for underkill. Oh, yeah, so... Okay, that's totally not fair, because he's doing the run, isn't he? <laughs> he can't donate towards his own yeah, incentive. Yeah, he can. He can, absolutely. <laughs> Money Another ten dollars from Too Many Steam Games. Been watching Lobos for too long. Whoops. Hot grills and gay bonos. Good luck, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. So now that you know all the tricks, you can watch it and we can be quiet and you can see what's happening. Yeah. Um, so there's the long jump. There's the wrong warp glitch, and Lobos has <laughs> kindly explained the two of those. So <laughs> we don't have to explain anything that's going on anymore. Um, the way we started routing it was we. We kind of, people discovered some glitches, and then I'm going to get safety hills this time. Good um, call. <laughs> um, and we just kept, like, going back and forth, like, getting farther and farther into the game. Without doing it, anything. Without, yeah, and then um, I discovered a dupe glitch, which allows us to get our character, like, leveled up super fast, and then Ala discovered the, the warping glitch, and everything just kind of fell into place. And honestly, with those two pieces of the puzzle, that was all that was needed in order to make the 20-minute speedrun 
Uh, because it lets you get so far. Is it the wrong warp lets you get so far, and the salt dupe lets you get so strong that anything else doesn't really matter anymore. Yeah. Uh, the only thing that's really of concern is um, having magic in order to cast your spells. And in the process of leveling up, we get four magic replenishment items. And honestly, I think we only need three. Yeah. So... <laughs> Somebody could probably make a more optimal route that levels up less, and it would be faster, but... but I don't, I don't want to... That's annoying. Right. Doing, that's, doing that's, work is annoying. We, we found the first run, all right? We're basically <laughs> waiting for somebody to come along and do some, some work for us and find another route that's faster. Yeah. <laughs> Give, give Bubbles 15 minutes with the run and... <laughs> It'll be a five minute run. Yeah. There's actually a lot of crazy glitches that involve, um, like, transferring actions over save files. So, the way that the dupe works is you use an item that grants you, like, experience while, like right as you save and quit the game. And it gives you the experience, but does not consume the item. Um, but what's interesting is not only... Do you get that those rewards? What it does is it queues up granting you the, the money. I think we're on the same frame here. We're right here. Oh, gosh. Well, I do something <laughs> different, though. You get the... the I yeah, do, I do get this. Um, so what's weird is you can pop... You can, like... You can warp a character and then save and quit right as you're warping and load in another character, and then the second character will warp because so it the, just queues the up So the queued action actions. basically gets applied to whoever you load in with as opposed to whoever you used the action with. And on top of that, it doesn't use whatever the item is. So it can be a bell, it can be a salt item, it can be, like, any of the items that have, uh... Basically a window after that, not even. Yeah, any, any item you can basically buffer as you're quitting out of the game. Yeah, and, or, like, and fast traveling. Or right, like fast traveling, stuff. like... And that kind of makes it so if you were to do a multiple save file speed run, you could you can have a save file that's at the last boss and load out and then go into the save file and load in like right before the boss and warp. And then you could basically do one boss speed runs. But that requires multiple save files. Uh, and that's typically Boring. Right. No, I don't know. At the very, <laughs> at the very least, it's. <laughs> I did. I literally last year at Fast Fair, I did a Bloodborne speedrun with multiple save files. So whatever. Yeah. Um, I don't need the dupe. Oh, I'm not even on my bells. There we go. <laughs> uh, I guess I didn't this stuff. Ten dollar donation. Hey Lobos, thanks for putting on this amazing charity event. Always love to see games get destroyed very quickly. Another ten dollars says grabs all the butts. Hi. Grabs all the oh, Hi. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> grabs all the butts. <laughs> every, every single one. That's a lot of butts to grab at the same time. Your hands are gonna be very tired. <laughs> So this boss, basically, um, what we need is to finish this boss with two healing items. One to get down, and the other, the other to do the skip afterwards. Um, and if you actually, if you don't leave this fight with two heals, you don't have enough heals to make it through the rest of the rest of the speedrun route uh, without picking up some extra heals. So if you get hit too many times, you may survive the fight, but you won't have enough heals to make it down to the rest of the, you know, the rest of the run. Damn. There's unfortunately a lot of required fall damage to get to the covenant that has the super, super OP magic. And you need at the very least. I did not betray the covenant. Oh my god! How did I forget that? No, oh, what did I use? <laughs> Oh my god. 
I was two inches away from the freaking thing that I... <laughs> Alright, I can find another paper somewhere. <laughs> Casual playthrough. I'll find another paper somewhere. <laughs> we have our largest donation of the day, a hundred dollars. Oh my god, and another hundred dollars that says fast sanic. <laughs> fast sanic. Oh my god, I tied too. Oh. I think I have one chance to one just to, to still have heals for the thing. Too. Where are you going, Ella? <laughs> Trying to find another <laughs> betrayal paper. <laughs> oh, <This> one. Did <laughs> <laughs> you find it? That's where it is. We are professionals, so we we do this for a living. <laughs> the problem is this is not a controlled environment. Oops. <clears throat> And Salt and Sanctuary really is not a marathon safe run at all. <laughs> That's why we chose to do it for a marathon. <laughs> um, I need an extra merchant, don't I? Oh, I don't know where another merchant is. Uh, there's the one that uh, you, right above the secret wall, so the paper, right? Yes, that's the yeah. yeah. I just need to sell him something. <laughs> no, you have gold. It's 500, right? I think it is, yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Getting back there is the problem. <laughs> Okay, so here, here we are again, traveling to the other side of the world. Um, hopefully not doing terribly this time. I have Queen of Smiles dead, but I need a paper. <laughs> 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 I was faster than Lobos in killing Queen of Smiles. <laughs> oh, is that poison? What? Killed me. The vendor's right there. Five dollar donation. Go Lobos. Go Lobos. Love. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try. <coughs> Lobos, just make this all bosses. Okay. <laughs> yeah, let's just do it. That seems. <laughs> Another interesting thing in this game is uh, in Dark Souls. If you get hit while you're in the air, it'll knock you on the ground and give you iframes. Whereas in Salt and Sanctuary, if you get hit in the air, you take damage, you don't get any iframes, and you don't get any, like, safety. Yeah, you can get, like, multi-hit by bosses, just because there's, like, multiple bosses and they do attacks at the same time. Like, if you get hit once, like, you'll take the hit and get knocked down, but you can still take extra hits on top of that, so... Ah! <laughs> I hit no instead of yes. <laughs> Just give me the paper, man. <laughs> give me the paper, man. <laughs> what is going oh on right God. now? Live at Fast Fair, finding a new glitch. I don't even care. Give me the paper, dude. Oh, no. Don't even care. <laughs> I don't even know what happened, but I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> I respawned while I was Did in. So what happened there is I respawned while I was in the communication dialogue with the vendor. Oh, you, did you still buy and, it? And when I respawned back at the lantern, it just let me continue the conversation with the vendor who was about eight miles away, but... <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, man. Oh, man. I don't want to take that risk. <clears throat> There we go. <laughs> Yay. Finally, Yay. you've got it betrayed.
Uh, yeah. What the hell is going on right now? Where did I just... All right. I, all right. All right. I'm fine with that. Whatever. This game is just glitching out right now. I don't know why I would just warp there. Genuinely, I don't know why I just warped there. But that's where I wanted to go, so I don't care. He's taking pity on you. Okay. I can do this with six, right? Six, yeah. Oh, my God. All right. Just don't mess do up. Do with the three drops and then six heals. Just stack them all. Stack them all right away, yeah. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> or do, or do three and drop and then do three more, either way. Uh, uh. Alright, okay. got my crate. Okay, <laughs> there we go. New, new content, guys. There um, we go! <laughs> Progress! <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Excellent. So I just interacted with the NPC that gets us into the Secret Covenant, basically. And you can only do that if you uh, desecrate another Creed's uh, sanctuary, which we did, which is the paper that he needed to go get and do stuff with. Um, so now we're in that Creed. And basically, uh, when you sit at a sanctuary, you can make offerings and summon these NPCs that can sell stuff, upgrade your weapons, give you bonuses to the area, all sorts of stuff like that. Um, and we I got pick up oh those two big balls. We pick up like exact uh, the exact stuff we need to like sell items, to get enough money to buy the spell and to buy like the weapon that we use, um, and then we dupe a bunch of salt. Or uh, experience, I guess. To, uh, Another narwhal. <laughs> um, yeah, and so this is all just a character setup point of the game. We we fought one boss, and we're duping to get as much salt as possible. Well, as much salt as fast as possible. <laughs> However, there are things that you can do to completely uh, ruin the, the character at this point. So I'm trying to be very careful. Um. Yes. <laughs> it's very easy to accidentally sit at, for example, accidentally sit at this sanctuary here. And if you accidentally sit at the sanctuary, then you get rid of the glitch that we applied by using that paper at a sanctuary that we were spawning at. And that ruins everything, basically. So I'm saving quitting a lot. I'm doing the salt dupe now. You'll see the character like steps on like a crate right as it fades out. And it gives you all the salt, but it does not consume the item, so we do a lot of salt, and then, oh no. Uh, I passed through the sanctuary, so I got the spawn anyways. Yeah. It's all good, but. So this is the part where, if yeah, there's donations, you can read them. <laughs> and if not, that's cool. Because um, this is just do do do. Nope, you're on your own. Got All right. Sounds, <laughs> sounds good. Um, Are you pressing dupe after you choose end game? Yeah, you choose end game and then you hit the dupe button immediately. And, uh, oh, the use button. There's no dupe button. Sorry. Right. Yeah. If there was, <laughs> that's if that's that's that was a dupe it, button, right? that'd be awesome. <laughs> but <laughs> This is a modded PS4 controller. Yeah. <laughs> the dedicated dupe button. There we go. Yay. Uh oh. <laughs> Are you still gonna have this title? You're gonna have to dialogue again, probably. I'm honestly not sure what happens here because, honestly, talking to the shop vendor and getting him to shop with me from that far away, I feel like maybe he'll continue the dialogue. I'm not. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. No! Wait, did I. You have it! You I have it. it! No, I have it! You can just continue the dialogue! <laughs> Oh, um, man. All right. You, how did you accidentally do that glitch twice? I don't know. I've never done it before. <laughs> All right. Now I'm on the duping segment. Whee! It's exciting. So I, I initially created a route that used um, melee weapons, swords and stuff, because I like swords. Um, and... The route was pretty much what it is here, um, but then Allah tried magic, and magic Oh, yeah. 
like 30 times the, better. The arcane magic in this game is ridiculously potent, and there's two bosses that have resistance to it. Conveniently enough, one of them is the last boss. <laughs> And every other boss in the game is resistant to, or, or is vulnerable to arcane magic. So this is not only useful for any percent, but it's just genuinely the strongest magic in the game for general purposes, just for dealing damage. Okay, so I just did my last dupe, so I'm gonna actually consume the salt thing here, and then we're gonna upgrade our weapon that we purchased. I already purchased it. That's not it. There we go. Okay. And we have all the upgrade materials. We pick them up in the various areas along the way. Um, oh, I thought you died or something. I was like, <laughs> what? How uh, did you die while duping? Yeah. <laughs> you find a way. <laughs> I, I apparently would. <laughs> And this, this used to be all we did, was we'd do this and then you'd have the spells and then you're good. But there's like a leveling system for the different covenants. And so we're going to teleport away and get one level up item that gets you another, uh, it gets you like a consumable item that reduces the resistances of bosses and just makes them even more trivial. Um, so we're going to level up here. And this skill tree is, looks daunting, it's massive, but... A lot of the points are the same, and you just put everything into magic, basically, so, oops. And along the way, we're, we're picking up these um, potions that restore magic. Um, basically, every time you use a spell in this game, it consumes some of your maximum stamina, um, and you get that stamina back with these potions. Okay, I think... Oh, I need to buy a horn. Shop. Don't forget to buy calling horns. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Otherwise, that's a soft lock. <laughs> um, okay. I'm good. So now we go back to the only other, like, sanctuary that we've touched in the game. And we piss them off. Because <laughs> um, that's We fun. just betray everybody, uh, man. <laughs> yeah. No yeah. genuine oh, allegiances. Right. So I'm going to do that with this item. Another one of those pages. Ow. But we have OP magic now, so we just kill everything. This time we survive. The other time we just leave. Um, but surviving gets us the item we need for the Covenant. Which gets us the consumable item, and the most significant part of the consumable item is that it reduces the boss's uh, defenses quite significantly. Yeah. It makes like the last boss like a five shot or something, which is just... Silly. Oh. oh god. <laughs> That's a nightman. <clears throat> Didn't finish duping before I started buying stuff. <laughs> yeah, that shield guy, oh, I have yet to find a strategy for him. Hey, you just spam right? To yeah, to get him to not be blocking. Okay, good either. And you kinda just have to get lucky. <clears throat> So once you do that, basically you expunge whatever creed was at that sanctuary, then you can take it for yourself. And then uh, we do that, and we summon one more NPC. Um, doing that also gets us the item that we need to level up in the Covenant. So you spend that item, and you get these flasks of defilement. And then I think it's finally time that we can go kill the kill rest bosses. of the bosses. Yeah. Which, there's not really anything risky at that point. Um, I seem to be unable to use... There we go. Okay. Okay, so like I said, the first boss we fight is pretty much the worst one. The it's second boss we fight. Oh, well, yeah, the second boss. Technically. The first one after we're all buff. Yeah. <clears throat> um, she has a ton of RNG, and she... If you get hit by one like part of her spell, she basically kills you. Um, that's that's a melee though. Oops. But she loves to. Let's see here. This is not good. Uh, let me see the other ability.
<clears throat> Survive. We have a hundred dollar donation with the comment Lobos Love. Lobos Love. I got a good first wave. I'm pretty sure the whole reason we completely screwed up earlier is we're trying to explain everything, but uh, there, there's a lot of focus required for the combats and at least like all the menuing and stuff like that. But once you get to this point, you can kind of just autopilot, autopilot, and just mash the button that kills things. Yeah, wow. <laughs> or get mashed by the mash the button kill that kills things. Um, yeah. All right. I now have my flasks of defilement, and it is at this uh -oh. point uh -oh. a race to kill the bosses. <laughs> I think I might have to attack that. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Uh, man. Okay. Oh, is good. <laughs> oh no. I was standing on top of her and she did the, uh... The swirly? Yeah. <laughs> it's okay, I have, to, I have to go back for the four Kraken dragon worm. So I think they patched something recently. Um, previously, you used to be able to throw items and shoot spells while... <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Nothing they can do about that one. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the the boss the boss can also go outside. I don't know if that's what happened, but she can go outside the boss arena and use that spell. And you're like, okay, yeah. bye. <laughs> Basically, what happened there was she did an attack where she forced me to run left, and then she flew to the right and did that attack, which forces me to go to the right. So there was basically nowhere safe for me to go. And that's one of the things that can, it's just a thing that can happen on this fight is this boss can just fly off screen and shoot you with that attack or, you know, just completely make the, the entire fight you know, essentially impossible from a speedrun perspective. Okay. I don't have any skills for last boss. You can survive the drop with four health, right? Uh, yeah, but you can't get hit. <laughs> yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> can't get hit. Cool. I, I would have gotten back personally. I can't. I didn't get the oh, sanctuary. Get the, oh. I missed the mini sanctuary. So. The mini sing. Uh, you gotta go fast. So obviously. Gotta get yellow, man. Go uh, fast. Oh shoot! Can you? Can you do this drop I'm, too? Yeah. I'm sure. <laughs> are you sabotaging? Me? No, I don't. I don't think so. I'm All pretty right. sure you, that's like a. Okay, it doesn't hit too yeah, hard. Yeah. I thought that was a lot more. So you, you have to take force fall damage into the boss fight in addition to that fall that I did, so. Um, here we go. Oh no. <laughs> I, got I can't see him. Okay. Magic is yeah. It's really strong. It's yeah. Every time I do this I'm upset. It's at up magic. it's ridiculous how much damage you managed to do against the last boss with Oh, the get ready on the timer. 
Well, I guess just look at the timer. What's yeah, the timer? There it is. 38, 12 seconds. Oh, All right. Woo! <laughs> 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 Again, okay. Even worse when he follows oh. it up with that one. Did you think for it? Yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah. So with that fire breath attack, um, I'm actually supposed to like hover in the air while I'm casting magic in order to avoid that attack. And uh, I was practicing Bloodborne yesterday. And I pressed R1 to attack, and that's not the right <laughs> button. <laughs> this boss doesn't have a lot of range attacks, so if you get lucky and just kind of keep your distance, he doesn't do much. But if you're unlucky, he'll do. Oh, I forgot you can hold the button. Yeah, you can hold it. Yeah. In this attack, he. You can manipulate it so he um, does not throw lightning on you just by running into him. Oh, you're at him. So. Yeah. Again. So you just run into him and he won't hit you in any spot. He just shoots behind him for some reason. Yeah. If you do any attacking, he'll attack in front of, you, in front of him. Totally. Yeah, basically if you stop walking into him, he'll, he will, instead of shooting that lightning behind him, he shoots it in front of him. And walking into him is what makes him shoot it behind him. difficult is the first part. <laughs> yeah, the last part's a The second walk, part is pretty easy, but the first part is where there's a lot of risk. <laughs> All right, well, I think that is Salt and Sanctuary 80%. Salt and Sanctuary Twice. 80%. Well, 1.5 times. <laughs> um, up next, I think we have Bubbles Del Fuego doing uh, Arkham City, if I'm not mistaken. So we can uh, bring back up the music. Woohoo! Thank you all for watching Salt Sanctuary. <laughs> <laughs>